What's up, Spawns? Welcome back to another Halo video. Now, today's video, we are back for another Halo Infinite video where this time we're going to be doing a analysis breakdown. Uh, 343 just released a overview multiplayer. So, in this video, I'm going to be going through all the gameplay uh, scenes. Uh, you're not going to see 343 doing the interviews because I actually edit this footage where you're not going to you know, see uh, 343 you know, talking about the game. So, you're just going to see gameplay. So, yeah, let's go get to it. Alright, so right off the bat, we see. You know the battle rifle obviously and the uh, and, the, and the teammate you know in, in front of him holding the flag and again you know fired at the enemy don't know what weapon is that it's probably i think it's from the uh, wraith i don't know so this is the first bit of the gameplay what i really noticed about the uh, battle rifle radical the first uh, multiplayer trailer that we saw the radical you know i was a big fan of it the way it looked but apparently there's options where you can actually change radicals in, in multiplayer which is pretty nice so we we can have the classic uh uh, radical from you know from the previous games like H2 and H3 and and H5 you know H5 had the uh, uh, Halo 2 anniversary battle rifle so, so that's pretty cool but yeah the battle rifle dude it just looks so good um you know the way it looks like it just looks OG you know like OG battle rifle it doesn't look generic you know it doesn't look weird you know what we saw last year E3 it just looks so off it looks too dull this this looks so much better like I think this could be my favorite battle rifle. It could be. I think it's probably better than H3 battle rifle, and that's saying something, man. But yeah, so continuing forward. Um, so yeah, you see, that's the uh, that's the that's a snake you can see as well on the flag. That's pretty cool. And then next scene here, we see uh, an enemy. Uh, I think I think this is FFA uh, oddball or something. Holding FFA. Um, the player using the um, what's the what's the weapon's name? Whatever, whatever it's called. It's a it's a commander weapon that he's using, and he's zoomed in. So the enemy is getting fired at. Oh, next shot. Okay, so next shot we see the needle though. So see, I'm playing this on slow mode, by the way, so you guys can see properly what's going on. So yeah, you see the needle. The needle looks fantastic. I wasn't a big fan of the needle in H5, uh, though the needle in H4 was, was really good. I really loved how it looked, but H5 was was dark crap. But this needle looks so much better. It kind of reminds me of the, I don't know, like the way it looks. It looks like the Halo C anniversary needle when you switch to new graphics. It's got that look to it. Uh, so here you see the, that's a nice little view. You Here you see the mountains, the snowy mountains. Uh, that's a nice little view. Um, here, uh, obviously a player kill a player. So I think that's a uh, plasma, a carbine plasma. I forgot what it's called, I forgot what's the name. But what I like about this, it tells you, you know, uh, you know, which gun, you know, they were, they were killed by specifically. So that's pretty nice. So let's play this a little bit. So if you if you go back a bit, I just want to show you some. I just want to show you guys something. So here, like a lot of people, you know, have been complaining about when you shoot uh, a, when you shoot a player when you kill an enemy. The shield the shield effect it, the effects is just too extreme. Like it pops out too much. It's too I don't know distracting. It just brightens up the whole place, and it's like I don't know. It just covers everything up. Uh, I really hope they do tweet this down. Uh, I mean, again, the game isn't you know it's not released so. I'm sure they're gonna do something about that. I really hope they do some tweakings. Uh, it just looks, it just doesn't look too good. So yeah, moving forward. So next shot, you know, this is the beam structure there, the fighting in. Yeah, you see it here as well. Look, you get these hexagons around and it just looks, it just looks way too much, too extreme. And you see the ghost outside, the banished ghost. Sturgeon comes in. Okay, next shot you see the player picking up the bulldog. Another, another scene where you see the bulldog. So here uh, there's a player that's on the rocket hawk. Looks pretty cool. Not a big fan of the rock. I'm not really much of a big fan of the rocket hog. But oh, is that a red uh, warhog there actually? Yeah, you see a. Uh, I don't know. Is that a custom skin or uh, warthog? I think it is. Yeah, you see right here. So here you can see a red warthog. That looks pretty cool. So here, uh, this map. Um, I know a lot of people have already said this, but this map, this map really reminds me of um, from Halo Two uh, outskirts. You know, or turf, whatever. Um, it, it 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 gives me that same vibe from the mission uh, outskirts. Uh, I, I think I think this takes place in New Mabasa or something, right? It's in New Mabasa. Has to be. So yeah, this map looks. I think this might be my favorite map. 
looks really awesome. Um, so yeah, like you see these hexagons. I mean, I think that's fine, but when it gets to that, I don't like that. And then you see these outlines, uh, the red outlines. I'm not too much of a yeah. They gotta do something about that. It's not really too attractive to look at. You see what I mean? Not too, not too attractive. Um, but yeah, the map, you know, it looks so good. It looks like a map that you can imagine from Halo 2. Uh, you see, this is the Reach armor. I think that's a, is that Carter's armor? I can't tell. But yeah, that, that, uh, that's from Halo Reach. I can tell about the back piece. Uh, you see the Mongoose. Uh, the Mongoose uh, behind them is firing a rocket. And over here you see Emil. That's, that's a cool helmet. And I think that's George's uh, armor, right? Is that George's armor? Looks like it. That's, that looks pretty cool. You see the tracks um, as the as they're driving down. You see the tracks. Actually, you, you, you can actually leave tracks now. So you see, in this scene, you see a, a grapple hook. You know, I see a lot of people were concerned about the grapple hook. How it just plays a massive part, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. So he switches his uh, assault rifle. Uh, notice the assault rifle. Uh, the quality you probably won't see it properly. It doesn't have yellow stripes on here. But in the next shot, it's going to have that. So, so yeah, you see uh, an, an enemy player gets uh, meleeed on an opponent. Um, gets knocked out. That's the that's the Mark Five helmet, by the way. Go back a bit. So here, yeah, that's the Mark Five helmet. You can't see it probably, but if you guys you know do have the chance, you guys can you know have a look at yourself at your end, and that's the Mark Five. Looks pretty nice. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I love the how the armors look in this game. Uh, this game overall, I'm just so happy like what I'm seeing right now. So that's a shoddy bulldog shotgun. I think uh, he has a an equipment where you can actually see through walls. It's not uh, it's not an arm ability. It's actually an equipment that you can uh, probably use a few times, right? Because you know it scans. Yeah, it's it's only a limit of usage, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, so it scans the whole place, you know, it's not just the, the place, it scans the, it scans the weapons as well, so you can see the battle rifle is highlighted in blue. Yeah, this is really cool, man. I like that, I like that effect, that cool effect. That's on the ceiling. Gets meleeed, goes fine. Uh, in this shot, we see the needler. Let me go back a bit. Yeah, so, yeah, so if you guys don't notice, that unfortunately, they are bringing back aim down sights. Um, it doesn't look too noticeable, though. Honestly, it doesn't look too noticeable. Like it doesn't, it doesn't look too extreme. Do you see what I mean? Like, like it just zoomed in a little bit. And what I notice, is it's not slow mo. Like every time, because because uh, on Halo Five, when you use aim down sights, you go in slow mode. I don't know. It feels really weird. But on here, it doesn't do that. So that's that's all right. Um, I think some of the weapons uh, that are auto, uh, they only have aim down sights, like like the assault rifle and the needler, uh, to make them to make them more uh, useful. You know. Because they don't have a proper scope, so kind of makes sense. Yeah, I'm just not really a big fan of in downsides, but I think I think this should be fine. All right, moving on. I just love how the, the needle looks. They really nailed the art style. Player okay, switches to, to his assault rifle. Now this is cool. So next shot here. So yeah, so I was watching this video, and um, what I noticed, you see that you see this uh, picture of a Spartan. And my speculation, this is not confirmation or anything, but that looks like Noble Six. I mean, we saw a reference of Sergeant Johnson, right? Avery Johnson on the uh, on the wall. So I was thinking maybe that could be Noble Six. That'd be pretty cool if, if we have like an Easter egg lot of him. But I don't know. Could be another spot. We don't know. Um, you see the assault rifle. It's got a different skin. That's uh, pretty nice. I'm really I'm really impressed with the skins. So you see, you see the spawns here doing a pose. Looks pretty awesome. Is he? It's like he's about to fist fight. That blue Spartan. Pretty dope. So yeah, the assault rifle. So yeah, so what we saw previously, the assault rifle didn't have the stripes. I think this is the default uh, assault rifle. So we're gonna have this in campaign, and it looks so good. Wow. And some people being like complaining. Well, not well, it's not much of a big deal, but they were pointing out like, you know, the the score, the display score, right? You normally have it at the bottom. Uh, right but now it's in the center at the bottom you know like uh, you basically see this score here and a lot of people are not really a big fan of that they're not really you know used to seeing that uh, which is uh, which is understandable i really do hope t43 
do give us an option, you know, to customize our hood. So we can move our, you know, our display weapon, you know, on the top, uh, on the top right, and you know, move this all at the top. Uh, I mean, sorry, at the bottom right. Um, yeah, just give us options. That would be pretty cool if you can customize your uh, hood. Uh, just that could be customized out radical. That'd be pretty dope. Slay your enemies. That's a new one. Look at the mountains. I love the mountains. That's a beautiful view. So yeah, again, you see the uh, Abby Johnson reference. Next shot here picks up the. Uh, what's the weapon's name? Is it the? I know it's called Commando, but I want to see its first name. It doesn't really say. Hang on. Ah, it's too fast. <laughs> I'm playing this on slow mo, but damn, it's too quick for me. So, so VK7. I just call it Commando. Okay, we just call it Commando. I didn't say that. <laughs> so the Commando looks really good. Uh, last E3, uh, again, it looked really dull. You know, there wasn't there wasn't too much textures that was going on. Um, Looks looks like a really nice weapon. So here, next shot, we see the uh, the drop wall. Now the drop wall. Uh, so last year E three, where you see the uh, banished boot drops uh, of the uh, the drop wall on the ground, and um, you can actually uh, it works different because I think in last year E three you can actually shoot through the um, I think you can shoot through no hang on how does it work I forgot how it works but it works really different on here. Uh, the, the drop wall on here, you can actually break it. It takes a, a, a lot of bullets to break the uh, drop wall shield. Uh, but in the campaign, uh, it's it's pretty much one-sided. So you're gonna have to like walk in, walk walk through the drop uh, wall shield and actually kill the enemy. But on here, you have to like you have to break the shields to you know go through, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, T50 did mention that blood post a while back that equipment will work differently, which is pretty nice. Breaks off. Wow, you completely broken off the drop wall, right? And he actually gets a kill. Ah, uh, this is the this is an awesome shot. Wow, grappling hook the hammer, dude. That is just so dope. Let me see that again. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I just want to see it. So, I wish I can play the slow mode more. I mean, I'm playing this on slow mode, but I want to slow it down even more. Ah, oh, that looks so good. I wonder how far it can go. Like, how far can the grapple hook can go? Like, how far it, it can shoot? Picks up a gravity hammer. Maybe it's an opponent with a gravity hammer. Okay, you know, someone mentioned this to me. The gravity hammer doesn't feel like... It does feel powerful, you know, it's overpowered, right? But it doesn't feel like, you know, like in how in Halo 3, where you hammer someone and they just go flying across the map. It doesn't really have that. Like you just, you just, they just die right in front of you, right? But with, with Halo Three, when you when you swing your hammer at them, they just go flying across the map. And I really want that to happen with this hammer. Like it just sends players across the map. I really hope they do something about that with the physics, with the ragdolls, whatever. So a player uses a grapple hook. Feels prime. Yeah, the sword. Uh, yeah, I mentioned this on stream. Um, I'm not too big a big fan of the sword, the way it poses. I don't know, like, uh, uh, hopefully there's an option where you can uh, play, play around the view model adjustment. I think MCC is going to have that, so I'm sure uh, Halo Infinite is going to be having the view, mo view model adjustment. Um, it looks cool, the sword looks really cool. Just find the pose look weird. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of it, personally. What is that? I haven't, look I haven't looked into that too much. So next shot we see here, back on the same map, uh, drop wall again. Uh, the enemy uh, drops uh, the drop wall. And, oh, hang on, let me get back on there. So you see, uh, as, as I was mentioning, you see the uh, aim down sight. So, um, so on the needle, you saw the aim down sight. So on here, you see the AR uh, with the aim down sight. Uh, it, it doesn't look too noticeable. It doesn't look like aim down sight. It's not like Call of Duty style or Apex or anything like that. You know, it looks, uh, it looks okay. Um, not too bad. Uh, but I much prefer, you know, having the AR not to have any downsides, but, you know, I, I think I'll be alright. It's alright, right? It's gonna be alright. <laughs> so here you see another shot, uh, player sprinting with the gravity hammer. Oh, this is odd ball. Uh, so you see the uh, enemy in front uh, using the ball, so he gets hammered. That's a double kill. I've noticed that there's no way, hang on. So. Okay, now I'm starting to notice something. So, you see here, right? He kills two players, right? But we don't see any double kill medals. There's no double kill medals, right? 
Have they removed that or something? Like, the announcer probably said double kill, but there's no double kill medals. I really hope not. Oh, that would be so suck if they did. <clears throat> Next shot we see here, um, he grapple hooks the... Is that, uh, is that overshield? Is that camo or something? I think that's overshield. Uh, this, this vehicle here, wow. Uh, I don't know what this vehicle is, but it's like a massive vehicle that you can use. It's probably a truck. Looks really cool. I don't know. Massive bag. Yeah, that's overshield. I think that's OS. Yeah, that's OS. So he puts on OS. There's another, another view of the Bulldog shotgun. See the default assault rifle. That's going to be in the campaign, which I really can't wait to use. Uh, that's another another shot of the OS. Puts on the OS. Look, well, there's too much hexagons that's going around. I really hope they, you know, tweak that down. Um, here you see BTB. The Banished Ghost looks so damn good. I really like it. So you, here we see the Razorback. Um, the Razorback uh, carries around like... How many spawns? I think five spawns it can carry. It's, it's my favourite vehicle already, dude. I just can't wait to, see, to use this. So here, T42 confirmed that we, we can actually stock up uh, items behind the uh, Razorback. I don't know if we can stock up stock them all, or, you know, all at once, like, you know, in the... In the uh, you know, behind the Razorback. Like, do they mean we can uh, put the um, the gravity hammer and the flag, you know, on here? They even confirmed that we can put fusion coil behind this, but the fusion the, the fusion coil is dangerous, so like, that's probably more, you know, it would do more harm than good, because if you have the fusion coil here, right, you know, you would have opponents who would be shooting that off. Doesn't make sense. Uh, I don't know how that would work. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome how you can uh, stock uh, uh, you know items on here like the turret, the gravity hammer, the flag. Uh, that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I love. I love the vehicle already, dude. The Razorback. It's just so good. So again, you can see. Uh, if I pause the video, you can see the this tracks uh, from the Razorback. That's pretty cool. It looks so good. So next shot is we see. Are they giving them names for these maps? I really don't know. And the chopper, ah, love the chopper. So you see the balance chopper, so good. So a player uh, grapple hooks on onto his opponent, smacks him. That's the mark. That, that's mark five, I think. Uh, looks really awesome. Yeah, I do apologize if this uh, analysis isn't the best. Uh, this is off. You know, this is not rescripted. So yeah, do you expect me that I'm going to be missing a lot? Pick up a uh, threat sensor. That, okay, I think that's a new uh, equipment. So next shot we see here. Two vehicles uh, are at each other. See the Razorback in the next shot. The chopper still chasing the Razorback. <laughs> so here we see the beam structure. So here we see a weapon here. Oh, I forgot what, what this weapon is called. Someone told me the weapon's name. But this weapon we haven't seen in gameplay uh, perspective. Um, it's a brute, uh, it's a new banished uh, weapon uh, type. Looks really awesome. You see the lift here. Uh, enemy is getting shot by the banshee. That's pretty nice. See uh, a player using a turret. Oh, so this part. Okay, you see the warthog here. Looks so sort of messed up, damaged. And we don't know how or why, but it looks completely wrecked. Then you see this tree. I feel like you could break off trees in this game. And look at the damage here. You guys see that? Look at the impact. And the grass as well, like there's actually there's like ashes in the grass or something. So you can actually uh you can actually destroy you know structures almost and trees. That's pretty cool. Well it's not confirmed, that's just me speculating you know, speculating. Here we see the uh, Wraith. The Wraith looks so good. I love the Wraith. And here we see the pelican will be dropping off vehicles, which I find really awesome. Yep. Oh man, look at the lighting that's coming out from the sky. Wow. Look at my ray tracing. So you see the um, Halo, uh, Halo 2 uh, uh, drop pod where it drops off weapons. A ray <laughs> doing a stunt or something. And you see the uh, Warthog has literally has no wheels. I don't know. It'd be, it'd be so funny if you can drive that still with no wheels. 
I think you're gonna probably be so slow. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, wait, hang on, I wanna go back to that. You see that Warthog uh, at the front? The piece at the front that comes off? Hang on, I wanna see that detail. Oh my god, that looks so good. Wow. I wish you could play the slow mode. This is not, it's a bit too quick still. So you see the next shot, a player captures the flag. You can actually uh, apparently sprint with the flag. Some players, some people are having problems under that. They don't really like uh, sprinting with the flag. So here in this shot, uh, you get to have your own AI, your own personal AI, which I find really cool. How many games have that? I don't know, I think. So if you stop the video, so you receive their personal AI. You can customize your AI's appearance and personality in the armor hall uh, once you complete the tutorial. That's that's really cool. Get my own Cortana. And boy, I love the I love this shot here, man. The, the details on this armor just looks it just looks incredible. You know, it looks it looks like a Halo armor. You know, when you look at T43's armors from the previous games, they don't look like Halo armors. They look more like Power Rangers. Uh, but here you see um, you, you you're just seeing Halo armor. What more can I say? And then behind it, you see the the graffiti of Master Chief. Uh, you, we saw that uh, from the uh, multiplayer trailer they reveal from yesterday. Um, but yeah, it looks so good. It just looks so beaten up. I absolutely love it. I really hope they uh, bring back the uh, animated advisors, what they've added for um, Halo 3 MCC. I think I think they're going to bring it back. So here we see the. Um, I forgot what's the name for this. Plasma Carbine? Is that what it's called? I do apologize if I got the name wrong. Just trying to see what I can spot. So this is, here yeah, it's King of the Hill. He's controlling the hill. Stop the video here. You can see uh, there's... Like here. So, so I think this is like a training camp. And here you see these... Um, what do you call them? Like statues, whatever. I don't know what you call them, but you use them to practice, basically. Which is uh, which I find really cool. So yeah, here we see the battle rifle. I just love the new look of the battle rifle. It looks so great. Uh, well, my concern was the reticle. Like I was really nervous uh, about the reticle. I thought it was going to be um, the reticle we saw from the uh, from the um, from yesterday's trailer. I thought that was going to be the default reticle, but I'm so happy they got this back. Was that a sniper? Um, I think, I don't know if it's me, but I swear the reticle, does it look a bit bigger than last time? I think it is. So here, the uh, training area. Okay, yeah, this is the part where they actually confirmed that you're going to be playing against bots. So if you guys want to get warmed up, you know, get good, this is for you. <laughs> and for me as well, because I'm going to be spending uh, time here to, you know, train, practice my aim. Oh, I love the view, look at that. Training here as well, dude. Yeah, you see the score here. So here, if I pause the video, you here you have the tra training mode options. So here you have the primary weapon and the secondary weapon. That whatever whatever weapon you want to choose, you can choose that. And same thing with the grenade. Uh, same thing with the equipment. Uh, so here, this is a new new thing here. Uh, so you have friendly bots. So you can have like three uh, friendly uh, bots uh, on your side, or you can have like. Um, enemy bots so that's pretty nice um and you can also set the difficulty did i say uh, marine bot difficulty what does that mean i think you can uh, yeah i think that's a difficulty that you can change so the next shot we have here is the plane against bot <laughs> kills a bot next shot you know i'm not too much of a big fan of the weapons floating uh, you see the weapons floating i'm not too much of, too much of a big fan of that uh hit if i've had that but I don't know, I prefer, ha prefer having the weapons on the ground, touching the ground. I uh, don't really like how weapons float. Like, you see the sword, you know, the way it floats and turns. Really big fan of that. Oh, this is a beautiful shot. So here we see, again, the snowy mountains, the birds are flying uh, uh, across. That's pretty nice. Uh, you see a player, next shot, uh, holding up the fusion coil. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Uh, so remember what I said about the... Uh, where you can damage structures and there's a wall talk here that's all, that's all wrecked because you know it probably got smacked into a tree and exploded i think this might be part of the map as a default thing it's a bit of a shame i was hoping that we can actually damage this track with the trees and such but oh well so you see a player sprinting with the flag 
So this shot we see the assault rifle. Um, it can't be too. I mean, in Halo Five, when you when you aim, use aim down sights, like your player goes in slow mo. Like I'm not too. I'm not a really big fan of that. I guess it's not. It's not too noticeable. You know. I don't know. Let's go back to it. I mean, at least with all weapons, they're not like they don't have aim down sights. I think it's just for the auto weapons, like the assault rifle and the uh, and the needler. I think those are are the only weapons that have the um, aim down sights. Possibly and possibly the SMG if it is in the game, of course. Um, I think those are the weapons that have aim down sights. So here you have the oddball. That shield, they really got to change that shield. The I don't know, like they got to really, really tweak it down. It's just so like distracting, like it's so, it's, it's in your face, you know. It's just too. It's not good. So hopefully, T forty three do change that. So here another shot of the ghost. Uh, I think it's our first time seeing the ghost in action, you know. Gameplay uh, perspective. Someone said uh, on stream today that the ghost uh, looks big. His butt looks big. <laughs> if you look at that, uh, this is a big ghost though. So here I see a, a good look of the need needler. I really like the, uh, the new look of the needler. So next shot, you see the bulldog um, player sprinting with the flag gets taken down, and he uses the uh, wow. Actually, he used. I don't notice that. So. So someone throws. I think somebody threw the, uh, I don't know what you call that equipment, but it's like a power drain type. And he throws it at the uh, at the player, right? And then he uses his ability to uh, knock it out of the way. That's pretty awesome. So that was like equipment versus equipment. Uh, so this weapon he's using, uh, that's called the skewer, I believe. Yeah, that's the skewer, I think. See the oddball? I love the effects uh, on the oddball. It's really nice. Yeah, back on this map. Oh yeah, so this, uh, I, do I, um, no one has a notice this, but I'll show you something pretty cool. So, he gets meleeed. I just love the detail, like the ragdoll physics and such. So he gets meleeed. And then he gets uh, landed on the, on the, on the melon. And the crate actually moves, you know, it actually, you can actually interact with it. The, the, the dead body actually interacts with it. So let me go back a bit. I just want to show you guys something. So, uh, so, so, if you guys look really carefully, I probably need to zoom the footage here. So if you guys look really carefully, can you guys see that? I want you guys to focus on that. You see a chicken. Can you guys see that? A chicken. <laughs> a chicken running around uh, in the city. So that's pretty cool. It's really hard to spot, but if you guys are go going to, you know, if you play this video in 4K, you can actually see that chicken. <laughs> so yeah, next shot we have here is a sniper zoomed in. Um, it's a really good scope. I really like the scope. The sniper looks really good. Absolutely love the sniper. There's a grab hook, hammer time, bam. Look at that again, just in case if I miss anything. So, no scope same, use the hammer. You know, I really hope the gravity hammer, like, I love the look of the gravity hammer, but they gotta make it, you know, like when you're when you're mating someone, I want the bodies to go flying, I want everything to go flying everywhere. Maybe they uh, buff it up or something. And there you have it. That's the um, Halo Infinite uh, multiplayer. So what do you guys think? Like overall, I'm so happy with what they've uh, shown. You know, I think Team 3 I honestly believe Team 3 will pull this off. Uh, so yeah, I did that, those are my analyses I've done. Uh, this, like, keep in mind, this is not scripted, so there might be other stuff that I missed in the game. Like I wasn't, you know, I wasn't properly paying attention to what was going on, but I tried my best, you know, to go through the analysis. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. So yeah, if you guys really enjoyed this video, please do you know, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to follow us on Twitch. We literally stream Halo there every day. So yeah, I'll see you Halo fans in the next video. Take care. Bye.